Oh, okay, I'm recording already. So I just got um out of the theater. I just saw the movie The Whale. The Whale by I forgot the director's name, Aaron Donofsky, something like that. I don't know what kind of movies he's made, but I just finished watching The Whale and I thought it was it was good. It was okay. It was good. I well to sum up the movie, like a quick summary. It's about pretty much the story is about a a man who. I mean, I feel like this story has been told a thousand times, but this is just a different take, you know. Um, so it was good. I was entertained the whole time. I thought the actors were good. I thought. The characters were good. I thought the the dialogue was good. I thought, um, I feel like it could have been better. Oh shit, I'm sorry, I'm freezing and it's like, I'm freezing and it's cold and whatever. I thought the dialogue, anyways, whatever. So to sum up the movie, it's, yeah, it's about a story of a man who you know, has made mistakes in his life and, and he's just a dying man. And he's just trying to like make things right. Um, I feel like, cause he knows in a way he knows, not in a way, I mean, yeah, he fucking knows. He knows that like he's, that he's dying. And so it's, it's about him just trying to like make right, make right with his daughter and, and and just trying to find happiness, like trying to, like he said in the movie, he just wants to do at least one good thing in his life. Cause you know, and he, he was a good person, except he just made some wrong choices that cost him his family. No, no criminal stuff, but like, it, it cost him his family, it cost him his wife, his daughter, his, his health and it's it's sad the movie in in the end well not in the end but throughout the movie like you feel bad for this guy like you see him you see the way he's living and and, and what he does to just eat like all right so quick summary of the movie it's called the whale the guy I don't know if it's like a metaphor for him. Probably, right? The guy's like, yo, Brendan Fraser, you it was good. Like he did he did great for and he's usually like back in the day he used to be a fucking movie action star, you know, but but right here it was a different kind of movie. It wasn't no action in this movie. He looks like he's six hundred pounds. Like he has to be at least six hundred pounds in this movie. Um like, which, yo, he's huge. Like, you first, you see him, and you're like, yo, listen, this motherfucker's fat, bro. And then you see him stand up, and he's a big, like, he's a tough, like, super obese, super obese. And this guy is just a dying guy. He has a nurse visiting him. He has, um, okay. fuck, I just stopped recording by accident. But he has a nurse that like takes care of him. Eventually, his daughter shows up. Like his, he let like his daughter left. I mean, he left his daughter when she was only eight years old. Um, damn, I'm giving a really bad summary. I'm sorry, you guys. But it's a good fucking movie. I recommend. You know, like, listen, if you're a fan of Brendan Fraser and you're willing to, you know, like, not willing, but. And you want to see his 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 comeback, right? Because he hasn't been in movies in, in, in like a long time, like years. Um, this is a it's a good uh you know movie. It's a good story. I was entertained. I I felt for him. The movie got me to feel bad for him. There was many times throughout the movie where I was like, I was like, damn, you know, like like fuck, you know, like it, it really shows what it really shows the coping mechanisms that people that you know that people suffer you know like through all his 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 guilt you know he like ate his way there and like 
you see how some sometimes things trigger him. Like there's a certain scene in the movie where he gets triggered and he goes, he like stuffs his face like crazy, like it's it's fucking, and it's real though, cause you know what? Like I'm sure that shit is real. People do that. People live like that. I think I've even met people like that where like yo, they're so big, they're so like hopeless that they just like they don't even want help they just want to like con- they just want to continue yeah suffering like even though they want to triumph like they want to be good like they also want to suffer like they don't want to be healed they just want happiness but they don't want to be helped like being helped is not what brings them happiness like I feel like it's that connect. Well, in the movie from at least Brendan Fraser, it was that connection that that he that relationship that he needed to have with his daughter and with the people around him. He um he did a good job. He did a good job. The relationship with his daughter was was good. His daughter's a fucking asshole. Like his daughter's a fuck a fucking asshole. Like fucking bitch, y'all. And then there's the nurse in the movie. She's she's nice. The nurse. I feel like she could have been a better actor. She could have acted a little bit better, but but she was good. I bought her. Like you know, like she was very caring to him too. She was. I don't think she needed to do any of it. Like she she did it out of the kindness of her heart, which is beautiful. I could. I felt like I related to her a lot. Like like I feel like I don't never done it before, but I I don't mind going out of my way and helping people like if i was certified and licensed to do that and i knew what i was doing like a hundred percent i would like i would help anybody who needs help just and that and that's what and that's what was good about like you know like um the movie it was about like yo just helping and being real like like so in the movie brendan fraser's name his name is charlie he's a, a high school teacher and no i'm lying he's a college professor he's a professor and he teaches english or some shit and you know he's all about just wanting to be real he's just like yes he he wants the 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 students to express themselves and like do good but like he also just wants them to be real like he wants honest honest writing honest answers and he and you know he 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 just wants the the truth you know like I don't know. It's it's good. It's good. Like I, I I got it. I I understood. You know, it might be retarded the way I'm explaining it, but I got it. Like he just he's a guy that he's just a dying man who wants people to just be their best because he was never able to. So I respect it. You know, it was it was a good story. It was a story that I'm sure we've heard a thousand times, but this was done in a different way. And yo, why does my camera look like that? And I enjoyed it. I I thought it would get a tear out of me, but it didn't. I feel like it tried. And I looked at the people next to me, and they were crying. And like, but I felt like, uh, but they did get reactions out of me. There were scenes in the movie where I was like, damn, why I genuinely felt bad for him. Like, and. And, like, it really shows you, like, the struggle of, of, like, what he was going through. Like, he couldn't fucking get up to walk. And any time he needed to get up and move, like, it was a mission. Like, it was, it took him forever. Not forever, but it was a struggle. Like, it, he, nothing was easy for him anymore. You see him sweating just getting up and walking. Like, it was very realistic in that sense, you know, and, and the guy's huge in the movie, like, but whatever, and, and there's another character, his name is, I think his name is Thomas, he was, like, a missionary guy, he was, like, a, uh, like, a Christian guy coming to, to save, you know, whatever, knocking door to door, like, a Jehovah's Witness, but he was, like, a Christian, he, he was, good too everybody had like a, i mean his story was 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 good also um st- the story with the mother like you know the, all the there's yeah there's like six characters in the whole movie there's really not that many people there's there's charlie there's his daughter there's the nurse there's 
I forgot the nurse's name. I think the nurse's... His daughter's name was Ellie. The nurse's name was... Liz or Mary, something like that. There's the wife, that his ex-wife, his former wife, that he left for one of his former students who, like, passed away, and he was gay, and, like, a, a whole last thing, like, the movie, the movie's good, the movie's good, like, it doesn't throw everything at you right away, like, it, 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 you know, it, like, reveals things little by little, so, I was, I was entertained, I thought it was shot well, there wasn't a part of the movie where I didn't want to know what was gonna happen next, like, or what, yeah, like, what next scene, you know, and, was gonna happen next and every scene was powerful every scene was good there wasn't one scene in the movie where i was like that doesn't belong in there and i liked how it ended too the ending um the ending was good the ending it was i wish i understood it a little bit more though like the metaphors between like the whale like it was i mean yeah like okay so his i guess his daughter i guess i'm not spoiling it i don't know but his daughter was like writing about Moby Dick and like he was able to relate and he loved how honest she was being in her essay and it was like all oh, very metaphorical and like it was very symbolic like it was good it was good it was good you definitely I feel like I would rewatch it again or I'm gonna watch like I hope someone does like one of those a uh, breakdown and like deep dive into the movies because I watch those kind of videos like I like knowing like what the hell like you know what else I missed you know what else everything stood for so I liked that uh yeah the movie had that you know it wasn't just about him it was there was more symbolism and meta metaphor behind a lot of the behind the title and behind the story of, of what his daughter wrote and yeah and his acting was just good you know he, he he played a dying man pretty well i guess like he um yeah he was he's a really really big guy he's just dying so i i enjoyed it i thought it was good i would recommend people go see it if kind of people would want to watch this listen if you're a fan of brendan fraser watch this movie because it's a good movie and he deserves it because yeah he fucking deserves it it's brendan fraser like he deserves it go watch this movie he deserves a watch you grew up watching him in the mummy and in bedazzled like bro go give him a watch yo he just can't like this is his movie he hasn't came out with a movie in years like it's it's a good movie. It's it's not a great movie. It's not great. It could have been better. If there was things that I would change about the movie, I would maybe change. Mm, I would want to improve, improve the dialogue a little more. Improve yeah, improve the writing. Improve the acting a little bit. Not Brendan's, but like the nurse. I thought the kid did an okay job, but the the girl, like his daughter, could have been a little bit better. And the nurse could have been a little bit better. Um, if I was to go in detail how they could have been better, I feel like, yeah, the acting. The acting could have... I, I could have bought it a little bit more. I felt like the director was ready to yell, cut! Like, because he want, cause I wanted to change it. Like, if I was there, I would have been like, nah, like, it needs to be different. I needed to be... I don't know. I don't want to say more realistic, but... It was good though. It was good. I was entertained and I was impacted and the movie got reactions out of me. Like the acting got reactions out of me. So I I I enjoyed it. I give it a if I was to give this an out of ten, I'd give this movie like a seven. It's a seven. It's like a it's like a seven. So yeah, give it a watch. It's a good watch. It's you know, it's about to be the end of the year. Today's date is December twenty second, and it's a good watch. I recommend. Again, if you're a fan of Brendan Fraser, Brendan Fraser, Fraser, Fra whatever though, I can't pronounce his name. He he did a good job, and 
and it was a good story it was and the way it ended was was nice too like that last second like you see i don't know if i'm gonna spoil it for y'all i'm gonna spoil it for y'all but like the ending i'm gonna spoil it so yeah he's a dying man he's gonna fucking die he dies but at the end, the way he died, he you didn't see him die, like, the way I thought. I thought he was going to be like, uh, uh, or something, you know? Like, I'm sorry. Let's see if this... Uh, this so, like, I shouldn't even have done that, but... The way he died, he died listening to the way... He, he died the way he wanted to die. Like, he died how he... Yeah, the way he would have wanted to die. Like, he heard his daughter, um... Like, the beginning of the movie, he asks... This Christian guy, like, read this, read this, read this. Just fucking read it. And I'm thinking it was, like, his partners or, like, somebody's writing. No, but it was his daughter's writing that, um, that, that you know, like, inspired him to want to live, you know? Because he didn't even want help. But that was the only thing that kept him to wanting to, to keep going. And the way he died, like... He finally got up, right? Like, if you watch the movie, you watch the movie, y'all. But he finally got up and he walks up to his daughter, like, struggling, like, barely can't even hold his balance, you know? Like, takes, like, three steps towards her. He's listening to her talking and... And he, like, floats up. Like, his, you see his feet come up. Like, let's say he's standing like this. All you see is his feet like this. All you see is this. This is all you see. And that's it. And, like... It turns really white and like it's like with the memory he had um with his you know a memory that he that he valued you know and that like that flashback and it was great i thought it was great i thought it was an emotional story with with great acting and great just great storytelling and 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 yeah i enjoyed it so if you listen to my whole movie review, good looks. This is one of, you know, I, I just want to follow my dreams. It inspired me to want to even do this video. Like, this guy, it's just about being honest, y'all. Like, that's all he wanted. Like, in the movies, like, just be honest. And, like, everybody was so mean to him, too. Like, like his daughter was a fucking asshole. Like, oh, like so many mean things happened to him, like. But at the same time, he also, there's been, there was moments where I didn't feel bad for him. I'm like, yo, you did this to yourself. Like, but it's just a part of life. It's a good life, life human movie. <gasps> it's a good life human movie. It's a good, uh, it's a good story. I recommend people watch it. Um, again. <laughs> Um, what else happened in the movie? Yeah, his daughter's a fucking asshole. The kid was, like, pretending to be a good Christian, but he wasn't. It was good. It was good. Honestly, I enjoyed the movie. I give it a... Like, the characters are good. I would give it, yeah, like a seven. It's a seven. The movie's a seven. It's not a... Whoa! No. I don't know. But it's a good story. It's a good watch. If you like Brendan Fraser, give him a watch because he deserves it. Give give you know give him give him his credit because the credit is due. You know he did he did a great job. I I'm glad I went to go see it. I'm glad he got my money. I'm glad uh, this movie came out, and I'm sure it, it'll impact a lot of people. It left me thinking like being grateful. It makes you. Think about your own life, like, it's a life movie. So, it's a real movie, like, this shit is real, it could really happen. So, I'm glad it came out, I'm glad I watched it, I hope you guys watch it, I hope you guys support this movie, I hope you guys support Brendan Fraser, because he deserves it. Um, I think in real life, he's like, he was actually, not that fat, but he did get fat, like, he did fall off i don't know i don't really know uh, i only know what the fuck youtube fucking shows me but but he he did a great job and he deserves uh, an award for this you know some something he deserves something more than just a paycheck he deserves the recognition and and to be allowed and to he can should continue i, I thought he was great i thought brendan fraser was great so yeah guys please 
Uh, you know, like the video, subscribe to my bitch ass, and and yeah, guys. Um, I hope I continue to do this. I hope you guys support me. I hope I grow a following. I hope I lose weight. I hope I just like what he wanted. I hope you just find happiness and just be truthful and 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 just try to be good. From if there's any lesson I learned from the movie, it's what was the message from the movie? It's be honest and be yeah be honest with your with yourself with the people around you uh be respectful and just be there and 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 for people who have had any grudges with people or you know ho yeah hold grudges and and, and want to like fight all the time like you gotta learn to forgive like you gotta learn to to let go not to let go but to forgive you you can forgive but never forget like his daughter right his daughter never forgets anything like she remembers everything and so it was good it was good i enjoyed it i i thought it was good um my bitch ass cat y'all always fucking scratch me Look, 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 look. Bitch ass me. Yo. But yeah, guys. Um. Peace out.